one of the most important things to me with wig application is ease of installation if you guys see this unit right here this is not glued down or anything just two hairpins and it's looking fabulous darling this unit is brought to you by ebonyline.com and it is a outre unit called Michaela in the color dark root ginger brown stay tuned to see how I apply this Now, Michaela is a synthetic unit, but she is retailing for $41.95 on ebonyline.com site. This is a middle part, 22 inches lace frontal wig. It says that it comes with HD transparent lace, heat safe fiber up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and it has baby hairs as well with a pre-attached wide elastic band. And look how realistic that part is. So at this point in the installation, I'm just going through and brushing the unit because I did notice that it was starting to look a little tangly um, towards the ends. This is to be expected, I guess, with synthetic units. However, I am a little disappointed when my units are tangling on first wear, but nonetheless, this is a $40 unit, so uh, my expectations can't be too high. But yeah, I'm just going ahead and installing my hairpins just to secure it on the side. Again, I just wanted to show a pretty easy installation where you don't have to glue it down. I'm just going to be applying my face powder that I use on my foundation to the parting space along with the lace around the perimeter. And that's the powder that I use, which is the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW45. And look how flawlessly it blends with my skin y'all any powder at all that you use on your face this is um, a strategy that I came up with you know just to have it look a little bit realistic um, the trick is as well to buff it into the lace um, into the hair as well just to have everything have like a melting effect the other thing um, to have this looking flawless you have to make sure that the unit is secured tightly around your head so I do have my um, adjustable straps on the tightest setting right now to have this sitting laying along my edges okay <laughs> So another tip to have your lace front looking super natural, especially if you have a hairline that comes far down into your forehead like I do, is to just utilize your natural baby hairs. The ones that are like literally beside my eyebrows, I tend to kind of scoop them out just so that it can look a little bit more natural. You don't know if it's the lace or it's my real baby hair, but I know it's my real baby hair um, and other people, they're like, whoa. <laughs> looking natural <laughs> look how super easy that was look oh my look cute look oh my look nice yay girl look good <laughs> um i love this um fall color it's like a brown but in certain lights it may even look burgundy like i don't know but i'm just in love with how natural the hairline is it's pre-plucked too if you see there um imagine if this was to be glued down it would be sitting for lawless like can you just imagine i could literally lift this up right now it's not glued down um and it's looking really good to me um especially with the baby hairs um out let me know what you guys think in the comment section because i'm feeling it if you like this video as well don't forget to give me a like by 
pressing that thumbs up button and subscribing to my channel as usual the link to purchase this unit will be in the description bar below so don't be afraid to go ahead and click that description bar and head all over to ebonyline.com to pick up this Michaela unit by Outre if you want to give her a try again I'm just giving you the close-up of the highlights in the hair look how that Sun is hitting it mm. yeah this is a good one if um, tangling doesn't bother you and slight shedding yeah it's a good one until next time guys bye